Good day learners, it's wonderful to be on this platform. Today we shall be looking at definition and branches of agriculture. At the end of this lesson, the learners should be able to define agriculture, explain the meaning of the word agriculture, briefly explain the history of agriculture, listen and explain the branches of agriculture, and also explain the importance of agriculture. Agriculture means all the activities involved in rearing of animals and cultivation of crops for man's and the nation's benefits. The word agriculture was derived from two Latin words, which are ager and cultura, meaning land and cultivation. So from the actual meaning of agriculture, agriculture is just the cultivation of land, but this has not given us the real meaning of agriculture because agriculture is more than just cultivation of land agriculture is all the activities involved in rearing of animals and cultivation of crops for man's and the nation's benefit historical development of agriculture agriculture began when man started to exist on earth the early men live by gathering wild fruits and hunting wild animals because they are wondrous. The type and quantity available at that time was irregular and uncertain and was subject to prevailing weather and luck. Because of that, they continued with this nomadic life until large population of the families and properties necessitated the building of huts. So they change from their nomadic way of life to a more settled life. Branches of agriculture. The first one here we have animal science. Animal science is concerned with the production and management of farm animals. The specialist or agriculturist who study farm animals is called an animal scientist. The next one we have the veterinary medicine or veterinary service. This deals with the study, prevention and control of different diseases and pests of farm animals, that is the livestock. Scientists who are expert in treating sick animals are called veterinary doctors or veterinarians. The third one is the crop science. Crop science is the branch of agriculture which deals with the cultivation and management of crops. The specialist is called a crop scientist. Then we have the soil science. Soil science deals with the scientific study of soils. The expert in the study of soil is called the soil scientist. The next one is the agronomy. The combination of soil science and crop science to form one field of study is known as agronomy. That is, whosoever that study agronomy or study soil and crop all together. The expert is known as an agronomist. Then we have fishery. Now this is the branch of agriculture which deals with the production and management of fishes and other aquatic animals such as shrimps, prawns, oysters, crabs, and many more in artificial or natural water bodies. This can also be called aquaculture. Then we have the horticulture. Horticulture is uh, concerned with the grow, how to grow fruits, vegetables, and ornamental plants, that is the flowers. A person who studies horticulture is known as what? Horticulturist. Example of fruits and vegetables include citrus, purple, amaranthus, and many more. While example of our ornamental plants, we have rose flowers. Forestry. This is a branch of agriculture that deals with the study of forest resources for the benefit of man. The experts in forestry are called forest guards. Agricultural engineering. This branch of agriculture is concerned with the design, construction, maintenance of all tools 
and machines used on the farm. The expert that study agricultural engineering is known as what? Agricultural engineer. Then we have agricultural economics. This is a branch of agriculture that deals with the use of resources to maximize profit. The specialty is called an agricultural economist. Then we have agricultural extension. Agricultural extension deals with dissemination of information to farmers. You know, in agriculture, we have research institutes where innovations are, are, are made, where new species of crops, that is, improved crops, new species of animals, also improved animals, can be discovered. But uh, the, 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 the work of agricultural extension is to take this to rural farmers and give them this new innovation and also show them how to use it and also motivate the farmers to embrace the new innovation. Now the specialist is called an, an extension agent. We have agriculture. Agriculture involves rearing of snails. Experts are called heliculturists. We have the apiculture. Apiculture is bee farming. It's a deliberate process of keeping up bees in the wooden boxes or heaps for different reasons. The expert is known as apiculturist. Importance of agriculture. The three major importance of agriculture to man are provision of food, provision of clothing, and then provision of shelter. Other importance of agriculture to nation are provision of raw materials for agro-ally industries, provision of employment or job opportunities, provision of foreign exchange, it serves as a source of income to the nation, provision of market for industrial goods and then provision of revenue assessment define agriculture that's number one a number two number one b briefly explain the meaning of the word agriculture number two briefly discuss the history of agriculture number three a list any four branches of agriculture number three b explain any of the two branches of agriculture listed in 3a above if you find it difficult to answer these questions go over the video again and you find it very easy and interesting to answer all the questions